Good day everybody, welcome back to One World Flyer, and if you're new to my channel, a very warm welcome to you. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you don't miss out on a new video again, which usually comes out every Thursday, 12pm Hong Kong time. So I've just landed at Perth Airport Terminal 4 with Qantas from Adelaide, now I will have to make my own way to Terminal 1, where my flight with Malaysia Airlines will depart. Perth Airport offers free shuttle bus services between terminals, and as per usual, the Aussie bus driver is very nice. Thank you. Bye. We are now at International Terminal 1, which is at the other side of the airport. The check-in hall looks very modern and huge. All international flights except for the ones operated by Qantas depart from this very terminal. Like most other Australian airports, you'll have to walk through the duty-free area after immigration and security screening. Qantas does not operate any flight from Terminal 1, but their One World partners, like Cathay Pacific and Malaysia Airlines do, that's why they have their own lounge here. This lounge is quite small and you can tell this is a rather old Qantas lounge design. However, it's still a relatively nice lounge, plenty of wine and other alcohol, cheese and reasonable amount of hot food. Hello from Perth Airport Terminal 1, Qantas Business Class Lounge. I'm in the shower room, another shower tour. So very ordinary this one. The ones in the Qantas domestic uh, lounges are actually heaps better. There's a glass door and here is where you take your shower. Not bad. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. My aircraft today is a 12 year old Malaysia Airlines Airbus A330 200 9M MTW. It's a second hand plane from Air Berlin. Hello. <laughs> This is my window seat, 6A. All business class seats on board have direct aisle access. If you're sitting on a side and your seat number is even, you'll have a window right next to you. Otherwise, you have an aisle right next to you. Ready for you on your seat is an economy class pillow and blanket, which is okay for me for this five hour flight. The seat configuration might look like it's 242, but it's actually 121. Now the seat features, if you're taller than me you'll find this ottoman very useful. Under it you have a storage compartment for your bag or shoes. The TV is too far for me to reach if I have my seatbelt fastened. The tray table is very easy to take it out as you can see, no drama at all. You can adjust the position as well. You can totally walk down the aisle and use the toilet during meal services. I'll show you how to do it later in the video. And then on the side we have a coat hook, down here a cup holder and also a little storage space where you can put small items like passport and pen. And then a reading light you can switch on with a button down here. Further down a universal power socket. It's red right now as you can see and it means that you can't use it just yet. It will turn green after takeoff. A seat pocket right here. There is also a TV remote which is really handy and easy to use because the TV is too far to reach. Shortly after everyone has sat down, the crew came around with welcome drinks and I went for apple juice. Oh, champagne! Uh, Damien, and also with our family captain, 
at the moment we have a few passages to be voted and a few documents need to be signed off. We should be by time today. The flight time is 5 hours and 15 minutes. Weather at departure is uh, cloudy. Weather at most of the time will be fair. Weather at Kuala Lumpur is forecasted to be cloudy. The temperature is morning around 28 degrees Celsius. My first officer, we back to you for the latest weather update before we descend to Kuala Lumpur International Airport. In the meantime, please relax and thank you for your kind attention. Every business class passenger gets a noise cancelling headphone and a global data SIM card with 500 megabytes. Thank you very much. A menu is handed out just before we push back. There are four main options today, which is excellent. Malaysia Airlines has one of my favourite safety videos, good music and great narrating. Ladies and gentlemen, your safety is very important to us and Malaysia Airlines. So please listen carefully as we take you through some important safety features specific to this aircraft as it may differ from other types of aircraft. Put your baggage in the overhead compartments or under the seat in front of you. It's important to keep the aisles and exits clear. I will now show you the in-flight entertainment system. The TV resolution is quite high and it's a touch screen, but I give up because it's too far for me to reach. So I'll use the remote instead. Thankfully it's very very easy to use. There's a reasonable amount of new and old movies to watch, such as Feng Shui, Maze Runner and Fantastic Beast, which is a fantastic movie by the way. The flight map system unfortunately is not interactive, but the slides do change relatively quick. Now a closer look to the menu. This one on the left is the wine list. Will be spicy. So the rice itself is plain, and you'll, you'll 
basically have nothing else to eat with it if you right. uh, take spicy. Now it's time to order the food. I wanted Latina Mac and this lovely crew wanted to make sure that I could eat spicy food. So she patiently explained the spicy ingredients in Latina Mac. But well, unfortunately, I can't eat spicy food, so I went for hot here noodles. No problem. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, tea and tarik, tea, please. Yeah, Malaysian tea. <laughs> Love it. Thank you very much. Some other crew saw me filming around, so they gave me some cute souvenirs. They treat me really, really nice on this flight. So this is Tea Tariq, Malaysian tea. Now it is time to try the legendary Tea Tariq. Oh, amazing. It's really good. So here's my Hokkien noodle. My meal tray also has fresh fruits and yogurt. The Hokkien noodle is very very tasty. Fish surprisingly wasn't dry and prawns were very tasty. The noodle itself was a little dry but there was actually some sauce down the bottom of the plate. So you just mix it with the noodle then no more problem. Uh, just one thing please. A bottle of water for everybody to end the meal service. Now I will show you how easy it is to move my table and walk down the aisle. Hello from Malaysia Airlines. Airbus A33200 lavatory right behind the uh, cockpit and this one very clean nicely stocked you have some uh, something to spray for the toilet nice <laughs> you do your business there cold hook yeah everything's great so far so good now I'm converting my seat to a flatbed. Ta-da! Every seat or bed is roughly 20 inches wide, which is about 2 to 3 inches more than economy class down the back. Although the seat seems quite narrow for business class, I still have some space to move my legs around. About three and a half hours to sleep. No second meal, so more sleep. See you later. I slept so well, and this view is simply stunning. I turned to my right and found this on my boarding pass. The cabin manager decided to give my boarding pass to the captain to write down our flight details. It's super super nice of him. In the seat pocket you have the following items, a safety car, in-flight shopping catalogue, a Malaysia Airlines magazine and a air sickness bag. Yeah, this uh, generally is good. Good over here, your surface temperature is currently at 35 degrees Celsius. 
We have still around 20 minutes to land, so I've got to sit up straight now. But with this ottoman you can sit very comfortably for the landing. One cabin crew decided to offer everybody a final drink just before final cabin check. I was speaking in Cantonese with this crew and he's very welcoming. It's been such an amazing flight with Malaysia Airlines and unfortunately we'll now have to land into marvellous Malaysia. So let's conclude this mid-haul flight right here, right now. Once on board, a very warm welcome from everybody. They are definitely one of the best set of crew I've ever had on a flight, if not the best. Some of them gave me souvenirs for infants but I absolutely loved it. Some gave me Kit Kats and the lady who served me Te Tariq just now decided to give me a few packs of tea to bring home. It's little things that they did make the flight so much more enjoyable and happy. If you happen to be a cabin crew on this flight, thank you so so much. Tarima Kasi. Now for the food on board, it's fantastic that you have four main choices to choose from and there's a wide selection of wine, western and Malaysian drinks. My Hokkien noodle was excellent, as for the seat, you can see that it's quite old but it was actually very comfortable to see and sleep on it. The headrest was particularly soft and the overall privacy was fantastic. For this trip, Adelaide to Hong Kong via Perth and Kuala Lumpur, I paid just a bit less than 3,000 Aussie dollars. So I would say for this very sector, Perth to Kuala Lumpur, it is about 1,500 return, which is really cheap for business class. Now, enjoy the landing into KL with lots of palm trees. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did on board this flight. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again next week, Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time. Have a fabulous day and goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, it's a pleasure uh, seeing you and uh, yeah, hope to see you at the video coming up. Thursday. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so much.